Right, my name is Heather Dawn Scott, and uh, I'm an artist. I'm a Barbadian, and uh, this is my eighth protest. Most of them have been at Block A because that was the building that was promised for the Barbados National Art Gallery. And they've had the keys for some time now, and we have seen no progress. The previous one was at the old Barbados Hospital grounds at Gemmets Lane. And that got some attention because it was focal there at the, at the traffic lights. And uh, I just felt that, that those had gone by quite quietly. And I really wanted the Barbadian public to be aware that we have a national collection that belongs to the public. And the collection is locked up in the dark, out of sight. They give us is it two images a, a, a week, a, not even, I think it's four images a month. Maybe two images a week, I'm not sure, but very few little thumbnail pictures of the works. And some of these works are massive, of our best artists. And historical works are locked up as well. So we are tired now, the artists. And I, I speak on behalf of all of the artists. Um, I, I understand that there is a space for, um, you know, your tourist art, but there are artists that are leaving the island. They are going to other countries because that's where they're appreciated. They may live here, but they're going abroad to have their shows and they set up studios elsewhere. Some of them bring the work here, but because we don't have a national art gallery, there's no automatic display space for them to set up exhibitions. And a national art gallery is not like one of these lovely little galleries like Zemicon or, uh, or the Foundry or like um, the one that just closed Brighton Storeroom. And uh, then we have people like the Artist Alliance, which is Onika Small. She's been struggling to get the artist's work out there, but she has to find venues. So if we had a National Art Gallery, we could have these shows. And we need to have shows coming in from outside, not just Barbados who live out abroad. We need shows coming in from the region, from Africa, from South America, not just, every, you know, all the planes go north, 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 north. But we need to know what's going on within our sphere. So, so a National Art Gallery should have concurrent shows. So you could have the National Collection, which is exquisite. They have fabulous work that's locked away. And uh, it could have, um, so it, from the National Collection, also more contemporary work, which includes things like performance art and uh, film and video and um, uh, conceptual work. We don't have anywhere for this. Block A is a sweet little building, but it's absolutely inadequate for a National Art Gallery. And to take it further, my fear is that the National Art Gallery may come to fruition. Although we've been waiting 66 years of promises, it may come to fruition, but my terror is that they will use a building that is not big enough and that you can't hang things off the ceiling or that the walls are uh, timbered so that you only can do certain size works. We need a purpose built building and we need the artists involved. The board exists. They have meetings. As far as I know, there are not many meetings of the board. There's only one artist. She may be wonderful, but there is only one artist on the board. And there are, there are other people there who we're not quite sure what, what they're doing there, what their function within that board is. So what I'm saying is we have art on the island. More art should be coming in. We want to vitalize the artist. And this is what the protest is about. So I wanted something colorful in the middle of town rather than what I've been doing, which is a little more quiet and subtle. So I'm just hoping that um, we, we can leave this up for a little while and people will come and ask what it's about. The art is ours. It's ours but it's locked away in the dark and we have no National Art Gallery. Other islands have National Art Galleries. There are like six or seven islands within the region that have uh, their own National Art Galleries. 